Range fans and Gopher Hole fanatics. <laughs> We're back at it. That's right. We're back at it, and we're on the bench. You've seen this one before. It is the Lithgow 101 with uh, Center X Lapool Ammo. So those questioning if I clean the barrel in between, yes, I do clean the barrel in between changing brands of ammo. Uh, we're going to put this one on, on target. In the previous video, you saw a brand new Christensen Arms. You saw how it shot with Lapool Center X. Now we're going to see if those groups will compare to the old Lithgow Arms and the CZ455. Let's put them on target. Welcome range fans. Mr. Revolver Guy here with DayAtTheRange.com. Range fans, two videos ago, you saw the old Voodoo out here with the same lot of Center X ammo. Will the Lithgow Arms be able to hold its own against a Voodoo? and also the Christensen Arms Ranger 22. I hope so. We'll see. Got the five round mags loaded up. CZ mags. I'm gonna see how it does. Oh yeah, my ears, forgot about that. Always practicing safety on the range, of course, for me and others. Oh, that boat throw is so smooth. Let's see, what, what do I do here? One, I'm way, way too high. All right, here we go. Lithgow Arms and Center X. Factory rifle, folks. Factory except the large bolt knob. I did change the bolt knob. That's right. It definitely helps with the uh, maneuvering of the bolt. What you guys think? Will I be able to hold these groups together? And uh, you know, there's been some comments on YouTube and on dayattherange.com about, you know, putting this thing in a rest or putting the rifles in a true steady rest to see what the accuracy is all about. Yes, right now, what I consider this to be and finding the right ammo is precision testing. Can I get a tight group out of this ammo? Once I get a tight group out of the ammo, then I will go for true accuracy because I can move that group via the scope where I want it to be on target. To me, that's what accuracy is. So this is about precision, then I'll move on to accuracy. But even so, outside of a new bag, Bumblebee bag that I've ordered, thanks to DM and using his in the two videos ago, outside of that, I'm not changing much here. To me, this is accuracy not only is about the rifle, it is also about the shooter. It's what I can do. I feel it's fair. By the way, there is no rest allowed in the DayAtTheRange.com 22 Challenge. Come check us out over at DayAtTheRange.com and uh, join the 22 Challenge. Let's make this thing the biggest 22 Challenge in the world on the net. Next five rounds. Hmm, that's interesting. Much better group on the first group, that's okay. All non-suppressed.
All right, we're gonna get five more rounds, or actually 20 more rounds of the Center X loaded up. Well, not before I shoot this last magazine, huh? This will be the last group of the Center X and Lithgo that is unsuppressed. All right, not too bad. Let's get uh, 20 rounds of more Center X loaded up. Now with the suppressor. Be right back. All right, folks. Gosh, I'm back. Whew. There is so much lube on this Center X. Yeah, my wife ain't going to like that too much, wiping them on my trousers or my jeans or my pants, depending on what generation you're from. Um... Yeah, got five shot groups. Got the old Gym Tech suppressor on. Let's go, 101. Oh, that's a dandy of a group right there. Way to go, Lithgo and Gym Tech. I know many are going to comment on the bag. I have this bag for my Kimber 82G, or many has commented on the bag. That's because the 82G has a track uh, rest on it, so that or a track mount on it, uh, three-inch base, and it fits right in this bag well. Lithgo doesn't fit in this bag so well. But I do have the original Caldwell bag that uh, I'm going to put on it and try it with the Lithgo, see if that makes much of a difference. Maybe I just need a whole nother top. Wonder if Caldwell will sell me anything like that and if it's affordable um, to put that bag on so that they're easy to change out. I don't know. What do you think? Five more rounds. Suppress. This is Gym Tech 22 Suppressor. And Lithgo Arms 101 with Center X ammunition. Man, this thing is shooting pretty nice with this suppressor today, isn't it? The Center X, not too bad. I do have some Lapua Exact on the way and some Midas Plus. We might even get into some RWS 50. That's right, folks, I'm way down the gopher hole. By the time I'm done with all this, I might be in a manhole and you guys might need to get a crane to come and get me. Oh, I ruined it with the last shot again. Whoo! I had about four in the same hole down there. But it doesn't matter because this is the group I measure, by the way. No cherry picking, right? Not here on Day at the Range. 
Uh, I measured the last group for score unsuppressed and the last group suppressed for score. And then I show you if I went back and cherry picked what that would look like compared. So here we go. Let's see if I can buckle down. Whew. I don't know, I think the Lithgo might have held its own against the Voodoo and the Christensen Arms. What do you guys think? That's right, coming up next, you know the deal. Time for some CZ 455 and Lapua, or Lapua, Center X Ammunition. Coming up next. Ho oh, ho, I'm back at it. CZ 455 and Lapua Center X. I've got my five round magazines loaded up. Uh, you guys know what this this build was all about. It's easy to swap out the barrels on the 455. They give you all the specs of what they should be tightened down to uh, to make it pretty easy for the home user to do. So this one has a Lothar Walther 22 um, long rifle, 20 inch threaded barrel on it. Well, I'm going to see today Remember what this build was all about. This build was, can I, I don't know, build a CZ-455. It is uh, bedded, action is bedded. Uh, can I build a CZ-455 that is more cost effective than getting into a Voodoo? You saw the video of the Voodoo a couple of videos back and uh, we'll continue to have the Voodoo from DM on the channel as he joins me on the range. And we'll see how that thing tightens up. It, it has very few rounds through it also, to be fair, uh, just like this barrel has very few rounds. So uh, over at dayattherange.com, each one of these one inch targets that we shoot with down below, we are going to document them on dayattherange.com on the 22 call out page, document each group, what was the tightest group with which ammo, that way, my brain can refer back to it and uh, see if um, I can continue to get that ammo to feed these beasts down the gopher hole, way down the gopher hole. All right, five rounds. Lapua, 22, hot out here. CZ 455, Lothar Walther. See, ears in. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. This trigger is something nice. Gosh, my hand is so slicked up from that ammunition, I could barely hold on to the bolt. Mmm, I did clean the barrel. Because the last ammo out of this thing was the Ely match uh, that you guys have seen. So I did clean the barrel by running one wet swab down the barrel with my Otis pull through. And then uh, three dry swabs looked fairly clean but maybe it doesn't like Center X. Not sure, you saw how it shot with the Ely match? Let's keep going with the Center X, see if I could tighten these things up. Or maybe it'll tighten up with the suppressor, I don't know. Let's see.
This does have the Yo Dave trigger set up in it. Oh, now we talking. Oh, I got one mutt. Now, bragging, watch I screw it up. Uh, this barrel does have a bench chamber, the same as the Christensen Arms uh, 22 that you saw here first on deadtherange.com. Did I tell you? Didn't I tell you? Oh, one of these days, I learned to keep my mouth shut and just shoot. Don't worry guys, it's not shooting that erratic. That's me changing my point of aim. I use the crosshairs in this scope uh, to go up one crosshair to bring it a little bit down on the target so I can see better where my shots were placing. And more than anything, not throw away those one inch dots <laughs> down range. All right, I pulled one. Well, we got to reload the five round magazines. Notice I'm shooting with the five round magazines instead of the 10 rounders. I don't know, could be me. You guys have seen the videos with the 10 round magazines. Just doesn't seem to feed as smooth. Uh, sometimes I think it may be shaving the bullet or something and maybe the groups aren't tight enough. Probably just me. But I'm using the five round magazines instead. Let's get these reloaded up and uh, put some more rounds down range with the suppressor, Gym Tech suppressor coming up next. All right, I'm back, got five more rounds, got the Gym Tech suppressor mounted all up, and uh, we're gonna see how we can do now with the suppressor. I have noticed with the Gym Tech suppressor that uh doesn't change point of aim or point of impact on the target too much uh, with this Lothar Walther barrel, and so far, you know, I am Impressed with it. I think those guys have done a really nice job with this barrel. And I did, uh, yeah, you know what? Maybe that should be a video. Break out the old bore scope. And after the rounds that you've seen through this barrel, which isn't much, I think we're going on about 150 now at this point. Um, show you guys what the innards look like uh, inside this Lothar Walther barrel. Might want to remind me of that, and I'll break that out and show you what that looks like.
Nice, not bad. That first round, I think that was me. Trigger actually scared me. Like I said, I think this trigger really is in the ounces. I think I get a really light trigger. My RCVS trigger gauge um, is accurate, but uh, you got to be very consistent with how you do it. Sometimes I get this trigger down in the ounces with that gauge, sometimes around about one pound. So I know it's about one pound or a little under one pound. That's the Yo Dave trigger kit. Change point of aim here. Because of the Christensen Ranger 22 really shot high, I want to avoid those holes. So I got the crosshairs dead center of the black target. which makes this shoot a little bit high because uh, I do have it sighted in. I've shot this thing at 100. Not with this barrel though, with the factory barrel. Man, those last three that's something to talk about, something to write home to mama about there. Here we go, sweating again like a hog. Didn't I ask you guys in one video, do hog sweat? <laughs> Having a little fun. Join me over at dayattherange.com. Tell me if hogs sweat. Right. Last five round group and the scoring group for the Gem Tech Suppressor. Knocked in there pretty good. Let's make these count. I love this rifle. In this setup, is it comparable to the Voodoo? Does it shoot as good as Voodoo? What do you guys think? I don't know, for now, doesn't mean I won't end up with a voodoo, but for now, my money is in this CZ455. See if I can make this thing shoot. Oh yeah, I'm liking it. I'm liking it, I'm liking it. Boy, I've eaten up some ammo today. That's Lapua ammo. Oh, guess what? I've got some more of it left. Let's do this before we leave, folks. Let me hang a challenge target downrange with some Lapua Center X and see how this CZ455, Lothar Walther barrel, and Gem Tech suppressor does in the old dayattherange.com 22 challenge. Be right back. All right, I got the old dayattherange challenge target. 
hung up down range. We're gonna see what the old Gemtech and Lothar Walther barrel can do with the uh, Cinerex ammo. I don't think I've shot officially with the official target and the uh, challenge yet. So uh, you're gonna wanna check it out. Check out the leaderboard. We got plenty of subscribers. Of course, I've got multiple uh, entries in that thing and still yet people are in front of me with how much or how far I am down the rabbit hole with this 22 challenge. Somebody throw me a lifeline. JM, might be you brother. Get one of those big trucks to come pull me out of this rabbit hole that's turning into a gopher hole and may end up with this Christensen Arms that you guys saw in the previous videos, the Christensen Arms Ranger 22. You wanna check that video out. It's the first shots fired by Independent Channel. Uh, you wanna see that, JM, you might need to come get me and pull me out with one of those big trucks out of a manhole, cause it might turn go from a rabbit hole to a gopher hole to a manhole. I don't know, we'll see. But I know one thing, it's a lot of fun. Official, dead at the range challenge target. What can we do? We, here we go. What do you guys think? I think I could do better than that. You know what? We're gonna take five more rounds, I think. Uh-oh. Yeah, I got five more here. Five more rounds. And uh, call this an entry for the Gem Tech Suppressor and uh, CZ455 and the Day at the Range Challenge. Come on, folks, join me. Let's make this thing hot over there at Day at the Range. Let's blow up that web page, that web server with entries, largest, 22 challenge on the net. At this point, we are getting people that are joining from all over the US and one from Australia. <laughs> I had to, and that was me too. I pulled it. I knew I did. Well, there's the entry. Don't know where that's going to get me on the leaderboard, but that's the entry with the Center X. Guys, thank you for supporting me over at deadtherange.com and on this particular YouTube channel. Hit the subscribe button and the notification button so that you know when there's a new video by old Mr. Revolver Guy. Thank you for all the support, tips, tricks, and hints. Mr. Revolver Guy, signing out.